No. Why not? It's awful. Just a quick peekaboo. A quick peekaboo. It's really embarrassing. No. Peekaboo. Oh, look at that. What part of that is embarrassing? Oh, real quick apartment tour. Okay, I think I can do most of it from here. This is the kitchen. <laughs> don't, don't zoom in too much on that counter, Kamar. Uh, this is the living room. And this is also slash my art studio most of the time. <laughs> I have wool and so much wool in that corner. I have like three sheep worth of wool. What do you mean? You just like dump clothes there? Yeah. yeah that is... Th this is true. <laughs> we don't have a lot of space in the house. Yeah, it's like so 800 square feet. That's actually quite big, yeah. but... Um, yeah, it's just... Storage. There's not a lot of storage. Not much storage here. <laughs> Why not? It's awful. Just a quick peekaboo. A quick peekaboo. It's really embarrassing. No. Peekaboo. Oh, look at that. What part of that is embarrassing? <laughs> look at all your clothes on the Yeah, exactly. I, I, I didn't want to embarrass you. You didn't want to embarrass me? Nah, this is this is all my shit. Awesome. Prior to this, we watched Marie Kondo and we were supposed to actually do the things she said, right? That sparked joy, but that didn't happen because then we had guests back to back and just got busy and the clothes were in a pile on the bed because they had set, set it up to start and I didn't start. So I was just like, yo, I ain't gonna fold all of them to put them back in the closet, which is behind me. I just took them, dumped them there. This entire thing is like one massive window. And the good thing is, you can open up everything. Right? That entire thing can open all the way back in both directions. You're gonna show me your balcony? Mm -hmm. Ouch! F I like tear my skin. Ouch! I just like bang my leg up against this. It's a pretty big balcony, right? Mm -hmm. 15, 20 feet of balcony and it just overlooks the entire property area. All right, let me get this thing started. Ow! All right, cool. So one of the things Marie Kondo says is to build a giant pile, Done. you got two big piles, one, that's Kelly's pile over there. I'm kind of excited, but I ain't looking forward to it because that's a lot of shit to, to go through. Looking for things that spark joy. Does that spark you joy? I, I never wear it, so I guess it doesn't. When you hold it, do you feel like a warm fuzziness in your tummy? No! Nope. Thank you! I think this always also shows like how much wasted money we... Oh, thank you. You're not supposed to toss it. You didn't hear what Marie Kondo said. You gotta be kind to it, babe. Gently place it in the unwanted pile. Thank you. <laughs> Love this shirt. Joy. That's Joy? That's Joy. Oh my God. You're gonna keep everything to wear at home. How many out of home shirts do you need? She trying to tell me what making me happy and what doing make me happy. This shirt got me happy as I'm <laughs> spark joy. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Pay attention to your corner. <laughs> you can pay for that. All right, just another quick check-in. Kelly, Kelly done uh, sort her side of things. And I slowly but surely re realizing like how much of my actual stash, my clothing stash is predominantly shirts. And then also, how much of it is just workout, like literally workout, um, workout clothing is unreal. Like, that's all I basically come up with so far that doesn't spark joy. I'm looking for storage boxes. Because of how our closet is set up, a lot of the clothing is just like tucked away far into the back and you don't see it until you do a uh, deep clean like this, right? So. Wow, I've never even seen this shirt. Well, that's what we're saying, right? So this shirt, I bought this shirt in New York in 2012 or 2011. What I didn't realize is that it was like a cream as opposed to like an all white. Look at that up, to, up against your shirt. Like, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I haven't worn that shirt like once. Like, so? I was, because the color weird to me is it like what color shirts you wear this way? Black. Nah, it look dingy. Cut the sleep. <laughs> Cut the sleeves off and wear it as a home shirt. 
that might actually be a good idea. Why are you saying it like actually? Like it's shocking I had a good idea. That would be a great idea. <laughs> Fixed it. Ta da! Thanks, babe. Actually, a good idea. That was actually a great idea. <laughs> Why are you smiling like that? <laughs> oh. Are you okay with like a cardboard box even? You should get a harder plastic, babe. Because okay. then over time, what's going to happen is that this can. The corners where it can start to warp or whatever, right? Let me see. Mm. Yep, something just like that. We usually store our. We probably do the same thing too, but we, we store everything flat. With these, you know, we gotta keep them upright. You know what I mean? So that you can actually see them and I guess maximize the I space. I guess you can pull them out. Like I'm thinking of almost making drawers yeah. from boxes and those little slits mm. and stuff. What? We gotta go to Ikea. Ikea? You wanna go today? Boxes. Cool. to put your feet up on as well. Well, we have that brown thing. Yeah, true. You like them? Yeah. I do. IKEA, the place where you come expecting to, expecting to spend a certain amount of money, but you always exceed it at least two or three times. What are you looking for? <laughs> We're looking for uh, cushions for and patio furniture. Yeah. Just so we use the balcony more, because we really don't jump on the balcony as much as we could. And one of the reasons we think is because we don't have Patio furniture. I love it. You claim you love this, but to the left. I know what's our super couch. Yeah. So when we lived in Abu Dhabi, we had this particular couch right here, which is like an L sectional. We had this same one, and one of the great features is is that you could actually pull this bit of it out, and it transforms into transforms into a bed. That would still fit in our apartment yeah. if we got rid of that other couch. Yeah. So far, I haven't had much luck as far as finding the actual baskets is concerned. Hopefully, downstairs. Yeah, you want to go, boo? So hopefully, once we get downstairs, we can find some of the actual baskets. But we got some hangers. Now the first set we got were $8.90. These ones are a dollar less because they're natural. Don't want our white paint on it. What do you think? The only thing is though, at the bottom now you're gonna lose space because between each of them we got like a couple centimeters that you lose in all the space that you mm. could, you know, would it fit? Yeah, but I don't think I can maximize the space. Okay. I'm reaching in back. You know that's where I put easy to lay eggs. Mm. I think we might go with the solution instead of, you know, so instead of laying it flat, I'm thinking of just keeping it on that angle, you could start like two I'm on top. You know what I mean? Will you just tell me about living abroad? That you, you, you don't invest in nice things for your house because you don't know how long you're staying. So we just bought some stuff that'll work for now, but I just said I can't wait till we have our forever home so yep. we can really put stuff in that's our style. Mm, yep, it's a very fleeting experience when you live abroad, so you can't like kit your house out the way you want to. Otherwise, you'd be spending a ton of money in like shipping fees, uh, containers, and all that BS that you really don't want to be spending money on. Yeah. Anyways, we got like a um, couple bags. Got a couple bags. Also, there's a really great delivery service here with GoGo -Go Van. It's the same day delivery. And we're hoping he'll GoGo -Go deliver us as well. Yeah, maybe we get a free <laughs> delivery home. <laughs> no, no, she's she's not a human. She's a, she's a lamp. <laughs> I'll just be a lamp. A chandelier. Chandelier. to get some outdoor furniture up the stairs.
sounds for him. So this is a much bigger task than I assume it would have been. And we hungry as hell, so I on, what do you call it? I on kitchen duty while Kelly on weaving duty. You know, no, I'm just organizing still. You're not weaving? Not yet. Yeah. I'm gonna weave after. Nice cushions. You had a good shopping day today? Yeah, I think we got a lot of good stuff to what, get organized. What was your best purchase, your favorite purchase? I love this basket. Huh? I really like this basket. I think I like your basket too because it kind of put in all your weave in one place. But you didn't think you were gonna have weave problems. <laughs> so yeah, we can cook some food until I check back in. Enjoy the sunset. Fresh greens, asparagus. Yeah, asparagus look a little sad. It's my bowl, whiz bowl, some fresh. It's Fuji apple with cucumber, and that is the meal for the day. Let's eat, please. <laughs> Put the camera away so I can eat. It's with, delicious. <laughs> we're gonna pick up with the rest of uh, our cleanup of the house, the Marie Kondo style. So again, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And remember to turn on the notification bell. Bing bong. <laughs> All right, cool. I'll catch you guys in the next one.